Hi, what are five tips to help you sell your home in 2022? My name is Wanda Rochelle and I'm a licensed realtor here in Georgia. Join me as we combine faith and real estate. So let's talk about five tips to help you sell your home in 2022. Number one, you want to clean and declutter. So what does that mean? Clean and declutter. You want to clean your garage. You want to clean your closets. You want to clean out all of those cabinets. You know that drawer that has all the mayonnaise and ketchup that's five years old. You want to clean all of that out because when that buyer comes through your house, they're going to open the cabinets. They're going to open the refrigerator. They're going to open all of the drawers. They're going to open the closets. So you want to declutter anything. And when I think about decluttering, there are three things that we want to do. If you're not going to keep it, you want to throw it away, give it away, or sell it. So obviously, if you throw it away, you're going to put it in the trash. If you give it away, you can give it to Goodwill. You can give it to the Kidney Foundation. And if you're going to sell it, there are sites like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, where you can put those items there and sell it and get a good amount of money for it. So it doesn't matter if you're going to do this yourself or if you're going to hire someone to do it, if you're going to have a cleaning party or invite to invite your family over to do it. You just want to make sure that you clean and declutter. That's step number one. Number two curb appeal. When the buyer pulls up, that's the first thing they see. So we want to know, does the house need to be pressure washed? Does the driveway need to be pressure washed? Does the grass need to be cut? Do the hedges need to be trimmed? That's the first thing the buyer will see. So you want to make sure curb appeal is spectacular. Do the gutters need to be cleaned? Are there any limbs in the yard that need to be taken away? Can you possibly put some flowers out? Number three, put pets away. Now, I know we love our pets, but think about it. You may have a buyer that doesn't like pets, or you may have a buyer that's afraid of pets. As a realtor, I've shown homes and I had a client one time, the, she, was, she had an awful fear of cats. And guess what was sitting on the sofa? <laughs> a cat. You wanna make sure you put those pets away in a cage. And another thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure when we open that front door as a realtor that we don't smell the pets. We wanna smell a clean house. We want to smell air, air fresheners. I've had clients say, oh, I can tell they have a dog here. Or I can tell they have a cat here. So put those pets away. If there's a pet in the backyard, you want to make sure that they're either on a leash or in their dog house, whatever you need to do. Number four, let there be light. Light is your friend when showing a home. You want to open the blinds if you can. You want to make sure that there are light bulbs in every room so that if when the realtor comes to show the house, that if they flick the light switch, that the light will come on. You want to make sure to turn on all the lights in the house, in every room. Make it easy for the showing, which brings me to the final tip. Number five, make showings easy. As a realtor, we can't sell a house that we can't show. You wanna make sure that you don't restrict any hours if possible, but let's say you work from home. I've had to show houses before where um, the buyer, I'm sorry, the seller worked from home and the seller would just be in their office at their computer working and I would just open the door just greet them, hi, how you doing? And we walk through the house and show the rest of the home.
But what you don't want to do is you don't want to restrict the hours. So let's say you work from nine to five. You don't want to say, oh, you can't come from nine to five because suppose that buyer works at night, then you've run the possibility of losing a buyer. You want to make the house available on the weekends. You want to make it available in the evenings if it's during daylight saving time. So number five is make showings easy. So I hope you've learned something from this video. Five tips to help you sell your home in 2022. Thank you for joining me today. Feel free to subscribe, click like, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.